Hello everyone, it is AD with Cosmastrology and I'm going to be doing something a little different today. This is like a Cosmo off the record type deal. I wanted to do a get ready with me because I love makeup. Um, I changed my name to Cosmastrology to introduce some more Cosmo cosmetic into the field because I want to talk about other stuff. I just want to expand. I love tarot. That's my heart. You, you guys, you know what's up if you've been here. But if not, then I wanted to expand and kind of get your my opinion, your opinion to get a feedback for some other stuff. And I thought... <laughs> What better way than to get ready with me, guys? So this is my very first time doing something like this. So you're going to have to bear with me. I can promise you right now it's going to be a little shaky. Like I'm, I'm using a different rig. So it's we're, we're in this. Okay. Um, So just bear with me, guys. But we will figure it out. Please let me know if you like this. If you agree, let's get a little conversation going because I want to know. So our first topic is going to be us discussing here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, why modern women will remain single according to men. Um, and let's say what makes me qualified about this guys. Um, my YouTube algorithms, I get suggested to do like, to have the craziest, um, videos. <laughs> like YouTube cannot tell if I am like a woke black woman who's about to stomp my ass up to the comp, uh, to the Capitol and be like, come on. Harris, do this now or if I'm like some incel adolescent white boy or if I'm like some druggy always you know spaced out my algorithms are crazy my video suggestions are nuts so I stumble upon some things and I've noticed something in the masculine sphere um they're talking about women bad they are really talking about us bad like the disconnect is so far between the two of us and I wanted to take this opportunity to kind of explore that and voice my opinion on it and where I think that we can go because I I know that most women, if you're not tuned into what, you know, men think right now, you would be very surprised at how scary it is, you know. Um, so I just wanted to have a dialogue with some people who were interested and kind of get a little feedback going while we put on some, you know, makeup. Um, I'm not really doing plugs. I'm, like I said, this is my first time doing it. So we're going to figure out how we go. Um, I know that I like to run off. So I doubt that I'll be like plugging products, but I will show them. <laughs> We just gotta practice, just gotta practice, guys. So bear with me and I hope that you enjoy this. Okay, so I really wanted to start off with oops, not me grabbing the wrong product off the rip. Um, I use these soft focus glow drops at first uh, as a primer. So that's what I'm doing right now. But so I just wanted to start off first about talking about how difficult I feel like it is to date just in the modern world and how disconnected the feminine and the masculine are right now. It will really make you cry to hear some of the opinions like they're really on this. The masculines are on this kick of just like, don't get married. That's the worst thing that you could possibly do. All bitches are hoes, you know, bitches ain't shit, but hoes and tricks. And they all just want to take you for your money, which is true right you know what i'm saying like true at the end of the at the end of the day like i believe that men should provide so you have to have something to provide for but let's dig into that and i think a lot of the disconnect comes in with some of the music and just how we talk about masculines in general like we really treat them like a paycheck and guess what ladies they have feelings and they're listening to the radio too <laughs> So we need to look at who our heroes and think how we feel about that. Yes, of course, we talk about how women and stuff have been, um, what am I saying, have been sexified. That's not the word I want to look, that's not the word I want to use, but objectified, right? Women have been objectified. But is it fair to just go ahead and objectify men in return as a, as a turn to that? Or should we just renegotiate the terms of relationships because so much has changed with technology women are in the workforce now you know women can and do take care of themselves all the time um i use Too face i am butter pecan um but women do work and live on ourselves so it's just kind of like where does the masculine fit into that and right now ladies they trying to cut us out they think that our expectations are too high they think that we want too much they think that we're just trying to use them for their money and whatever. And so there really is a lot of hatred going on towards the feminine. And I think it's just because the masculine doesn't understand what we're asking for. And in some regards, I agree with them. Our expectations are kind of ridiculously high. Now, what do I mean by that? I'm not talking about it. You know, this is like being on to different things. I'm trying to stay on one track, but... Our expectations are high. You know, somebody has to be over freaking 
what is it? Uh, you know, six foot for some women to even talk talk to them. And that's ridiculous. That's something that they can't even control. And, you know, there's so many women who will be single in their later years because they're just like, I wanted somebody tall. Well, if that tall person ever came around and your husband was actually, you know what I'm saying, five, eight, five, second, seven, well, then you you missed it. You missed that boat. So it's little shallow things like that that I think women really need to look at and be like, does that matter? If he has a job and he's able to provide, and most importantly, he wants to provide for you, then what's the problem there? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's wrong with that? What dif difference does it make for looks? Wouldn't you be, quote unquote, like offended if a masculine told you that, you know? We just got to listen to how we're branding ourselves and what we really want. And I know that most of my girlfriends and a lot of the clients that I have, you know, we want relationships <laughs> like nobody truly wants to be alone. And for what it's worth, I don't think the masculine wants to be alone, but I think they're terrified because they can't really gauge what we want from them. You know, we're, and, and we'll do this thing where like we'll get with somebody who doesn't have a whole lot of coinage, which is cool. And we'll think that that's cool. And then we'll start expecting things from them about halfway through in the relationship. Well, then you should be doing this and do with this. Because you realize, what's love got to do? Got to do with it. Hold up. What's love when you got to pay Sprint and Netflix and freaking your house bill and your rent and all that crap? Love does not. Listen, Sally Mae ain't taking love. <laughs> Wells Fargo ain't taking love. And so then I think halfway through, there's like this disconnect. I um, also use this, and this is warm sand, um, Two Faced. These both are Two Faced, guys, um, if you're wondering. Um, then we wonder halfway through, like, kind of what's what's happening. And I feel like the masculine, they feel used because they have feelings. Like I said, it's crazy to think because I think a lot of women, we don't take into account that they have just as much ima imagination and want to be Captain save a hose as a lot of us do. They they want to fix broken things too. So sometimes they go for broken pieces and then try to make something out of it. And then are mad when they don't get what they want, just like a woman. And so now we're dealing with a whole bunch of angry men who don't know where they fit in the sphere of women. And so I've noticed that the masculines are turning to certain gurus. Like we had Derek Jackson and we have Kevin Samuels, who's a big name right now. And let me tell you, I don't like him. Like I do not like him. Him. I don't like what he has to say. I don't agree with him. The way that he tears down women is ridiculous. But when I tell you so many of these young cats are looking up to this man, I mean, truly looking up to this man as if he's some type of life coach guru. That's really scary to me because I'm just kind of like, yo, if y'all are listening to this clown, then that means that y'all think that this clown is correct. And so y'all going to not become correct when it comes to the checks and when it comes to being in a relationship and this man is in his 40s almost 50 he's not married and you have people who are just thinking like he's selling that bachelor lifestyle and his thing is really that women's expectation is way too high of men and in a sense like i said i think that women want a fairy tale a lot of the times and then we're disappointed when we find out that life is not a fairy tale we were all raised on disney channel and stuff too so we think that you know prince eric really gives a shit about ariel <laughs> who's to say this the, the movie stopped at the wedding we have no idea what happened five years later ten years later some kids you know what i'm saying like what happened so i do think that we romanticize relationships in a way that makes it very difficult but i don't agree with how he's messaging and how he's feeling like women like we think too high of ourselves no 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 no. that's not the case at all we think perfectly amount we think great about ourselves if anything we're masquerading and makeup and all this other stuff to try to inflate ourselves to feel better because i'm telling you if if a woman felt good about themselves they wouldn't even click on your, his videos you know what i'm saying like and that's my opinion that's my opinion i come from a long line of traditional like strong independent women single mothers um so i know i have a very strong personality which he admits he's just like you know women have attitudes and I don't know how to and sometimes I can agree like we really have to learn how to compromise as women if we want to be in a relationship especially when we're strong and used to doing things on ourselves we have to learn how to trust man but at the same time y'all got to give us some shit to trust that's all I gotta say like you know how I many niggas just don't do shit like don't do shit have kids like don't do shit and we talk to them and we sleep with them and we do whatever we want and then we end up being one of those people 
with a nigga who don't do shit and we're like how the freak did this happen and it's because <laughs> of that very fact of we weren't giving ourselves enough credit we need to lower our stand we need to raise our standards about who we let enter into our bodies but as far as relationships we need to be realistic about what a relationship is see it's twofold and you have to know what you bring to the relationship first look at me i look so crazy like <laughs> But you have to be aware about what you bring to the relationship first so you can set those rules as a feminine. In my humble opinion, don't let a man dictate what you want in your relationship. You should be coming up and be like, hey, I'm a feminine. This is what I have to offer. This is what I'm bringing to the table. Now, what do you, what do you got? What do you do? Before you even let it go past that. And I think that that's what the masculine, in my, in my opinion, is afraid of because you're dealing with... The media kind of projecting this women like, I want the money, I want the money, I want the money, I don't want anything else. <laughs> what is it? Let's uh, get that head, get that bread, and leave. And leave. And that's kind of the main messaging that's going out. But I would say to any masculine who were to stumble upon this video, I'm sure that they won't. But I don't think that that's the case. And I think that the feminine has to be the bigger person in this in this, in this mm, kind of fuzzy world that we're in. I'm going to use the Anastasia uh, Contour Kit Medium Tan. So I, I I love this. I don't do cream contour very often. I can. I just don't. Just a little tidbit. Um, what was I talking about? Seam. That's why I knew it. I don't know. I would lose my thoughts. Um, I don't know what I'm saying. Something about women. Something about men. Something about these niggas ain't shit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> But I think that we women have to be realistic about what we expect and what we're projecting, not realistic, what we're projecting out into the world and how that can be received if you're on the other end of that. Other end of that, if you're hearing what we are putting out there and then we're upset when we don't have anybody who wants to cuddle with us and who wants to be with us. And it's just like, okay, well, we just screamed Megan the Stallion to the universe. And people love Beyonce. People quick to claim Beyonce. But Beyonce, Ben had a man. And when she didn't have Jay-Z, she had her father. Okay? So Beyonce, <laughs> if anything, has been one of the standards on how to keep a man. And listen, she's had to go through it. It's not easy. You have to forgive. You have to learn no man is perfect. There's not a man on the planet who is going to really, you know, be God, be Jesus Christ. What's that killer song? He doesn't look a thing like Jesus. But it talks like a gentleman, like you imagine when you were young. Um, and that's really it. It's like you can't expect to marry Jesus Christ. Even Jesus was a, you know, even Jesus had shiz. I'm sure he was the son of man. So I'm just like, we have to learn how that no man is going to be perfect. <laughs> like they're going to get on your nerves. They're going to have good days. They're going to have bad days. You know, we got to account for like the emotions. And I feel like a lot of women, myself included, don't we struggle with that um because we're so in tune with our emotions and you know men don't really communicate like that so i don't know i think it bleeds into and i want to take a lot of the onus i'm speaking to women right now because i think that we're the ones to be talked to because in my humble opinion it's up for us to shift the conversation right it's up for us to be like no this is what we actually mean when we want your money what we mean on a biological level is we need your money in order to be the nurturer that we're supposed to be like we're supposed to be i want to be a homemaker i want to be able to take care of the family and all the other stuff so you should be making the money in the household now that makes that super complicated because we're in this world where women can work and that is the other issue that men are bringing up you know they're just like look we're going half because y'all are half the workforce like we're about to split this rent baby like what 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 do you expect and to that i say i understand where they're coming from you know um Women, we tend to accelerate more in the work field because they're able to pay us less, because we're not so we're more agreeable, we're not as demanding. So we end up quote unquote taking these jobs that were done for men. So by the time we said and done, we're making 60, 80, 100, 110,000. And the man that we we're trying to pursue, like he's still at an entry level. And golly, and if you're colored in any type of way, he probably got a felony. So listen. <laughs> 
you're, he's definitely not going to be able to be no CEO or even some make it through the metal detectors, you know, some of these places of these hiring things or even pass a piss test. Come on now, come on now, let's be realistic. So that is another expectation that we have to work on when we're working. Like what is the actual standard? And we, you know, our ancestors demanded that we be in the workforce. And I think now we're dealing with the repercussions of that. It's just like, well, hey, well, if you're out here working like a man, well, then now you're expected to hold up like a man. And yet our traditional values have not shifted. We're still expecting and holding on to um, that the, the idea that we had when we were still little girls and the world has definitely changed. And I think that that's something that we got to talk about. It's not our fault. I'm not saying that every woman should like quit her job tomorrow and be at the house. You know, I'm a, I'm a working woman. I plan to work. I'm working right now. She, she get that, get that bread. You know what I'm saying? But on a realistic note, on a realistic level, my, my other mirror is over here, guys. So, um, I'm using a, this is called a karma color story. My mother got this for me for Christmas like a while back. So I'm not sure like what it is, but yeah, um, it's a pretty soft palette in my humble opinion. It's a good for a nice, like natural everyday look. I'm not doing anything crazy. Um, but <laughs> you know, life is, life is crazy and dating is crazy now. And I think that we as women need to acknowledge the differences uh, from our tra traditional upbringings, kind of like what we want out of Disney channel and what's really happening in the world. Um, you know, <laughs> you know, we need to, we need to have a, a meeting in the ladies room and kind of decide what it is that we want from our, what we want out of our connections. What is really important to us? Do we want companionship and all the other stuff? Is that equally important? Because there's also this mantra that's going around that men here, they get YouTube videos too. We're just like, I don't need a man. I can be a single mom and all the other stuff. And yes, you absolutely can. Like I said, I'm birthed from single mothers and all that stuff. But when I say sweetie bear, that mess is hard. It's difficult and it's not necessarily something that you think you want to opt into so freely if there was another option. I mean that and I think a lot of single mothers would tell you that it's not the easiest thing on the planet. So before you go manifesting stuff to the universe about what you want, you really need to be realistic about what circumstances exist out there. And I do think that men have a place. I do think that men may be growing up without a father directly in my household and all that other stuff maybe i romanticize men so i'm being honest you know when i say that but at the same time i saw my mom do a lot of things that i don't think that a woman should do and she wouldn't have done if a man was around and so these are things that we need to consider especially if you're young or you know and i i consider young like literally 50 and under and i consider 50 and over mid-age because like we're living for forever <laughs> You know, it's just that 50 certain health things start happening. So that's the only reason why I put a little cap on it. But if you're still young and you want to manifest um, a relationship, you have to understand where the masculine is coming right now. And you have to ask yourself, are my expectations realistic? Really, what am I looking for at, at the bottom line? Do I want companionship? Do I want a lover? Do I want friendship do i want financial security is it possible for me to get most of those things not all those things how deep is my list i was looking at one video and there was a um there was like this segment where this lady <laughs> i'm sorry i was like eventually i was like i'll have like the little what you call it like the videos and all the other stuff but this lady was saying that, you know, on a list, there was about five things that a man checked off for a woman if he was going to ask her out on a second date. Five things. She was nice. She had a sense of humor. She seemed like she had some ambition. Ambition, I would like to get to know her. She's cute. Whatever. Guess how many list women had? Guess. Twenty. No, 300. 300 things. They would turn down a man and be like, oh. His freaking belt was brown and his shoes were black. I could not go out on a second date with him. What? Think about that. Really think about that. And I know, I know women who are like that. Some of, I have friends who are like that, you know? And, and I always ask, I'm always like, are you sure that that's really what you wanted to go with? Like, are you sure that that's really what you were trying to go for? Like, really, that's what did it? Was he nice? Like, does he have a job? Does he seem to be responsible? Did you ask him about his credit score? Like, you can fix a belt and some shoes, baby. Like, that's simple. What you can't fix is an attitude, somebody with no ambitions or, or nothing. So again, 
again, check yourself before you wreck yourself. Check your expectations. Did that resonate? Are you one of those people? Are you quote unquote shallow in that way when you're out here asking for some man that really doesn't exist? You're not going to get Prince Eric. You're not going to get Prince Charming. You're going to get Jack and Dante and Mike and they're cool and they try their best, you know? <laughs> And that, and that's the one thing that I will go kind of going back to Kevin Samuels when he says that our w women think too highly of ourselves, which bleh, can't stand it. But um, we do have to factor in that there's no such thing as perfection anywhere. You know, if, if somebody asked me if on a scale from one to 10, what do I think I am? I am a solid 9.8 period and that point too is just a little room for sugar because sometimes my attitude is bad sometimes my attitude and my temper is bad so that's a little room for sugar a little cream at the top but that that's i know that there's room for improvement and i can tell you where it is before you tell me but if you have to list my looks if you have to list my i mean whatever my my credit score right now my student loans okay that might knock me down a little bit but as far as my ambition what i have to offer what i bring to a relationship i pop pop you know what I'm saying? And I feel that way. And, and that's why I will demand myself that way. And I feel like all the women that I talk to and all the bitches and bad hoes that I'm talking to, you need to feel that way too about yourself. Period. You shouldn't be here if you don't. No, I'm just, I'm totally kidding. It takes a lot of work, guys. I've had to learn to love myself. And of course, we'll talk about that journey in, you know, realistic ways. Um, but I'm trying not to make this too long. But of course, you know me running my freak mouth. Um... And this is just like drugstore Revlon. But it all starts, you know, everything will always lead down to self-love and self-appreciation. And I think as the feminine, we have to start first with our standards of ourselves, set realistic expectations and standards for ourselves, what we deem to be a quality woman, what we deem to be a quality wife, and then go out into the world with that knowledge and see who is up for the challenge. But I do think that we should listen to the masculine right now and hear that like, they're really not trying to get married, girls. They're really not trying to be in any type of commitment. They think that it's so much easier. They think that women are more trouble than they're worth. Um, don't add any value. Don't bring anything other than, you know, a nice little coochie, punani. And I think that it's up to us. It's up to us us to rebrand ourselves it's up to us to challenge that stereotype and that starts with us saying no this is what i bring to the table like have you ever had we we need to learn how to listen we need to learn how to be his peace in that sense with with a man who's deserving i'm not saying that to any cracker jack who comes your way you know what i'm saying this man you know I, i'm gonna be your peace if you give me a peace you understand what i'm saying so <laughs> that's kind of my idea on it guys oh my gosh Side note, I am going to be getting my eyebrows microbladed well, next week or this week, and I'm so excited. Um, and so I will probably be talking about that process on this channel. Um, and I'm just gonna darken this up. My eyebrows are crazy, so I'm not one of those crazy eyebrow people. I just like a little, you know, I want to look a little natural. I need to darken it up just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Um, You know, like it's, you know, I would say I got rainbow brows and I want a little bit of, you know, edginess. Okay, I'm trying to finish this up in like a couple minutes. Um, But yeah, I, I really feel like I hope that that wasn't so all over the place. Like I said, this is my first time doing it. So um, you have to let me know what you think. I really enjoyed it. But I hope that this helped just give you some, some prospects of where the masculine is right now with us. And like, if we want to rewrite that history and kind of rewrite where we fit in that scenario, then it's up to us to change the standard and really understand our own divine masculine femininity, excuse me, and masculinity, you know, um, to understand our own divine femininity and what we bring to the table. So we're less likely to let a man define what that is for us we define it first and they follow you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying all right listen i'm not great with eyeliner i'm not great with eyeliner so i'm gonna get that tattooed on my face just you wait i'm gonna have somebody tattoo some liner on my face because i can't so please don't judge this part of the process for me um i'm being so honest like it's gonna be crooked i, I promise you but Hit it with my best shot. Why don't you hit me with your best shot? Hold on. Hit it with my best shot. Um, 
I'll line her away. Okay. <laughs> See, we're not going to zoom in it, but if I come back like that, you know, it looks like a little cat eye. I'll, I'll fix it. It's crazy, guys. My hand, my hands are so shaky. Anyways. Um, yeah, so that was kind of my, that's my opinion on kind of what's going on. Um, eh, like I said, I ran out of, um, I ran out of material, but I'm still, I mean, I could gab on and gab on forever, but I don't have a pretty smart audience, so I know I don't have to keep doing the most. And I always do like this little, these little dots here, a little accent. Um, did I have it? Hold on. But yeah, so hopefully you are finding this to be interesting. But yeah, I'm still going with the regular schedule programming. If you're not, if you're new to this channel, um, I do tarot readings and like astrology, hence the, uh, the co it's Cosmo astrology <laughs> because I do astrology and I do, you know, tarot and all that fun stuff. But, you know, I talk about other things like there's, a, there's other things happening in life. And I do think that the grander, um, play of things would really i'm debating should i go with the i mean you know I, i'm feeling glossy i'm glossy so this is the anastasia um maple lip gloss so this is maple it's a dark brown um so yeah but i hope that you enjoyed this but yeah i do all kinds of other stuff but it's important for us to know uh 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 Okay, <laughs> it's important for us to have like this context. Oh, what is that? What is that? <laughs> it's important for us to have like this little context for what we are manifesting when it comes to relationship because you know tarot is one side of it and then the self-work is the other of it and i and i will say listening to those videos and just kind of men like dragging women i'm like hold on there there's a disconnect here but what can we do as women to you know s serve it up i know some people would disagree with me some people are more liberal and all the other stuff i'm traditional i like i said i grew up from a generation of single parents and i would love to not have to be a single parent i understand the value of men i understand that like they do bring something to the household and they should be appreciated as such now the thing about it is men need to do their job <laughs> like i can't stand it like men open the door and she's like that you know like <laughs> hello bet you know what i'm saying um and yeah i have like little micro dreads under this of course um but men need to do their 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 size of the freaking journey and they need to help and they need to understand what it is. And I do think that this conversation could, could keep going to the end of time, right? Um, for good reason. But the main one just kind of being, um, you know, this the, the brokenness of the two-parent household, the deconstruction of the two-parent household to begin with and not seeing both the masculine and feminine energy play out in a way that we're used to i think that it's affecting us it's affecting our dating it's affecting our child rearing and so now if this was ever a time to change it it would be now or and at the same time if we can't change it on a society level then you can change it within yourself and you just have to ask yourself these questions hear the masculine out understand that they have feelings they listen to cardi b they listen to freaking megan the stallion too they see the instagram posts when we're like man you could die tomorrow i could raise my kid on the own and that hurts their feelings and i think that we should start taking that into a little bit more consideration if we want to fully ultimately get what we want oh i didn't do my lashes i'm not gonna make y'all sit over here and let me fight with these fr freaking lashes we are 30 minutes in i'm rambling and that will take me much more long that will take me a lot longer of time so i hope that you enjoyed this get ready with me guys um this is just like a simple it's summertime share you know black girl share look hey <laughs> listen to y'all so <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this, guys. Please let me know what you think. Um, and please keep the conversation going. Share this. Let's get the convo going. Even if you agreed or disagreed with what I said, let's get into it. Thanks, guys. Peace. Until next time.